Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you what steps to take if you are having trouble SSHing into your EC2 instance. So I'll just go through step by step process, what step you should take if you are not able to SSH into your EC2 instance. So you can see my AWS console. I have this server called problem server and it is running and I am not able to SSH onto this server. So there are a few things. Uh, <clears throat> before you start troubleshooting you should ensure first thing is if you are not SSHing this instance through a bastion host then you need to ensure that this machine or this server actually has a public IP and is in a public subnet so basically if you just go to the subnet open it and we need to look at the route table so you can see that this actually has a route to internet so 0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 is route to internet and it is going by uh, internet gateway so networking wise it looks good that this server actually has a public ip address and the subnet also has a route to internet so these things looks good uh, you can also see the status checks are fine most i mean sometimes you you lose ssh as ssh access uh, when one of the status, status checks actually fails so you probably just need to start and stop your instances or maybe just reboot your instances which basically fix the status checks and then you get your ssh access back but anyway so we don't have any of these problems so let's look at the key this instance is using where is it I always have trouble finding the key, uh, key pair. So runner dot key, runner key. Okay. So let's go to on our terminal and try to SSH this. So let me just go to connect SSH client and I'll just copy the string and go to my terminal. And if I'm not wrong, I have the runner key over here. Yes, runner dot pem is here. Just clear the screen and I'll hit enter. and nothing is happening so this shouldn't actually take this much of time this should be like instance it should happen instantly okay so probably yeah there is something wrong so let me just control c this clear the screen and first let's check the permission of our runner key and you can see this is like six read write read execute and read so it is six five five yeah so this permission is probably not correct. Uh, the correct permission for the private key is always 400. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the permission on my runner key and make it 400. And now it is fine. All right. Uh, yeah, so that's done. Let's hit try again and no nothing still no ssh connectivity so let's just cancel out of it and go back to our aws console and go to instance and the next thing we need to check is the security group configuration so if we look at the security group okay launch feature six let's just click on this go to inbound rules so you can see we don't have any inbound rules which is not correct so if you want to ssh onto any machine you actually need to allow port 22 so let's just add rule and there should be ssh let's select that and source i'll just select my ip address so it will automatically pick my ip and save this so now we have the ssh uh, port added into the security group so let's try again SSHing and let's hit enter and now voila now it is actually working so let's hit enter yes and now we are able to enter into our EC2 instance all right so these were the few steps which uh, you saw I mean normally when you 
when you are having problem on or in SSHing on to EC2 instance. Uh, these are the steps probably you should take. You should also you can do one thing is uh, let me if I just exit out. Uh, you basically start with telnet and you just get the domain and you give the port so you can see you are able to this actually ensures that the service uh, SSH is actually running on the server so you can do that so ah, quit yeah so these are the steps basically which we take uh, when we are troubleshooting an SSH access connectivity issue so if we just go back or if we just revise what we did so we checked if our sir uh, if our instance actually had the public ip and it is in the public subnet so public subnet is a subnet which actually has access to the internet via internet gateway so you have to ensure that then you have to ensure that your key the private key which you're using has the correct permissions and the next is security group so you also need to check security group and in case you have an external firewall uh, which you are using maybe you are using Palo Alto or anything so probably you have to ensure that the ports are whitelisted in that firewall as well all right so yeah that's all I wanted to cover in this video I hope you guys like this video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching